The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number three. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 11th, 1973, in Paris, France. O Skyan of Bharata, you should understand that I am also the knower in all bodies, and to understand this body and its owner is called knowledge. That is my opinion. <coughs> so, Arjun inquired from Krishna six things. Uh, Khetra, Khetragna, Prakriti, Purush, Jnanam, Gyam. What is knowledge? And what is the object of knowledge? Jnanam, Gyam. And Khetra, field of activities. Khetragna, the worker on that field. Khetra, Khetragna, and Prakriti, nature and the Purush, uh, material nature, and Purush means the enjoyer. <coughs> the sixth question. Of course, Bhagavad Gita is every each and every word and letter is full of knowledge. But these six inquiries, if actually can understand the six items, he becomes the perfect knower. <coughs> that is said by Krishna, Jatas Gyanang Matamamu. Gyanang means knowledge. So if anyone can understand the six items, then he is in full knowledge. Jatas Gyanang Matamamu. You have asked me, uh, Arjun and Bhagavan Uvacha and the Supreme Personality of God is speaking. Not only speaking, he says, just like a gentleman, whatever he says is perfect, but still he says, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Now my opinion you can take or not take, that is up to you. But who can give better opinion than Krishna? No. That is another knowledge. Why Krishna, Arjuna, is asking Krishna? Uh, because in the beginning he has said that uh, nobody can make solution of my problem. You are the best. So, Following the footsteps of Arjuna, if we accept Krishna's words, uh, not blindly, but with good logic, good scientific research, if we actually try to understand what Krishna speaks, then all our problems are solved. Now, in the previous verse, uh, Sri Bhagavan Uvach, uh, they would have said, Krishna Uvach, Krishna said, uh, no, he has purposefully uh, says, Bhagavan, uh, Krishna he may not, may not like, but he is the Supreme Personality of God, Bhagavan, with six opulences. Uh, uh, one of the opulences is full knowledge. Aishadyasa samagrasa bijasa jasasa sriya. Gyan. Uh, Krishna is complete in knowledge. Uh, Sarvagya. Janmadyasa jata annayat itaratascha artheshu abhigya. Uh, God means abhigya. He knows everything. You cannot hide anything from God. That is Abhigya. Uh, <coughs> Vāsudeva. Vāsudeva sarva meet. Samahatmā sudhullava. One who can understand Vāsudeva. 
Samahatma Sudullava. Such great saintly person is very rare who can understand Krishna. Now, preliminary understanding, uh, Krishna said in the previous verse that idang sariram kaunteya chetramiti avidiyate idang sariram, this body, this is called khetra, field of activities. Idang sariram kaunteya chetramiti avidiyate Etadja Bhetti, anyone who understands. Sa Prahu Khitraga Ititad Vida. He is Khitraga, are the knower of the. Just like we are sitting in this room. It is very easy. Still, the rascals they cannot understand. We are sitting in this room. The room, the floor is called khetra, field. It is also field, a small field. And every one of us, we know that we are sitting on this floor. Nobody will say, I am the floor. Will anybody say, any saint man will say that I am the floor? Nobody will say. It is common. So, if you try to understand from this simple example that I am one identity and this uh, field, that is another identity, so I know that I am sitting on this floor. Similarly, this body is one identity and I am another identity. So knowledge means when we can understand that it is my body, not I body, not this nonsense. Nobody says I body. Everyone says my body. This is knowledge. Uh, but these rascals, these rascals of modern age, they are saying I body. I am this body. What you are, I am this body. Uh, what is your interest? Anything which is interested with my body. Uh, he is not I body. Still, he is interested with everything, with this bodily relation. Uh, there are thousands of girls, women, but a particular woman with whom I have got my body relation, that is my wife. That is mine. Uh, and combination, the child comes out, my child. In this way, my house, my uh, property, my body, uh, my relative, my friend, my brother, my nation, my, 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 my. But the rascal does not understand that the beginning of my philosophy has begun from this body which I am not. This is knowledge. This is called Brahmagyan. Uh, if anyone understands the simple thing that I am not this body, uh, but education is given, no, I am this body. The, uh, this nationalism, this nationalism also the same mistake, uh, but they are fighting so much. Great, great, big, big men uh, in this country, Napoleon fought, uh, in Germany, uh, Hitler fought, uh, and so, so many others in our country, Gandhi fought, but the, he is in ignorance. All these big, big leaders, they are ignorance, andha, blind, blind. They do not know that he is not this body. And neither this land belongs to him. But they fight the whole 
history of the world means this mistaken idea, I and mine. Therefore, Krishna says, Jattas jnanam, khetra khetra gnanam, jattas jnanam tat jnanam matam mula. Krishna is giving that one should know what he is and one should know what is his body, then he is in knowledge. The matter cannot understand this. The dogs, cats cannot understand this. But a human being can understand this. Bhagavad Gita is meant for the human being, not for the cats and dogs. Therefore, the human society should take care of this knowledge. Then his life will be successful. Uh, so it is very simple thing. Ja chetra, as I have given the ex- example, that I am sitting on this floor. The floor is different identity from me. No sane man will say that I am this floor uh, or I am this room. Nobody will say. This is my room, uh, my floor. Similarly, this body, we say my, my finger, my head, my leg. Nobody says that I leg, I finger, I head. No. This is not it. Uh, don't identify yourself with this body. This is not it. This is beginning of spiritual life. The cats and dogs, they cannot understand. Uh, the cat cannot understand that he is not body. The dog cannot understand that he is not body. Uh, it is the human being who can understand. Uh, see, if in the human life one uh, does not try to understand this simple knowledge, then he remains like cats or dogs. You know better than cats and dogs. This is one point, that I am not this body, I am not this material world, I am a spiritual identity, part and parcel of God, qualitatively we are one. As God is spirit, so I am also spirit. But His body is very big, gigantic, the universal body which Krishna showed to Arjuna, the Virata Rupa. Uh, but my body is not gigantic. It is small. Maybe we uh, call the elephant's body gigantic or similar other animal's body, but it's still God's body is still more gigantic. You cannot compare. In the eleventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, I will know, how gigantic body has Krishna. So as I have got this body, but my spiritual identity is very small. If we study in this way, it is very easy to understand what is God, what I am, what is this world. Just like I am, I am not this body. I am within the body. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi. I am the proprietor of the body. But what is my uh, magnitude? Kisagra satavhagasya satadhakvalpita sati. You just take the mm, top of the hair and divide it into 10,000 parts. That one part is your idea. So in these material ideas, we cannot understand that such a small particle, smaller than the atom, has got so power. Therefore, because it is so small, these so-called rascal scientists, they cannot find it where it is. Therefore, say, oh, there is no soul. The rascals will not admit their inefficiency to know, and still they will say, no soul. And if there is no soul, then how it is working? They have no even common sense. Similarly, 
as I am very small, smaller than the atom, and I am living within this body, and my body is working so nicely, my brain is working so nicely. Similarly, Krishna is also, uh, uh, according to our consciousness of Krishna, is person, individual, but he has got a very gigantic body. This is the material world, material expression. That is expressed in the next verse. Khetra-gaṁca, khetra-gaṁca api māga vidhi. I am also khetra As you are knower of your body, the bodily pains and pleasure you know, I know. I do not know your bodily pains and pleasure. Neither you know my bodily pains and pleasure. But Krishna says that Khetragya, Khetragya cha api maag vidhi. I am also Khetragya. Means I also know the field. So how he knows? Sarva Chetreshu Bharata. Sarva Chetreshu. He is uh, within every body. He knows what the ant is doing. He knows what Brahma is doing. He knows what you are doing. He knows what I am doing. Vidaham samiti tan. Krishna says in another place, I know everything. Just like it is very easy to understand. Uh, just like you know everything, not everything, at least eighty percent, you know what is going on in your body. You do not know everything. Uh, if I know everything, then why should I go to a physician when there is something wrong in my body? I do not know. I am eating, but I do not know how the eatables are being digested within the stomach and they are being divided into different secretions. The rejected part is becoming stool and urine, and the other parts they are becoming uh, blood, and the blood is distributed all over the body through the veins. How the veins are? What do we know? Although I am claiming my body, uh, but I do not know everything what is going on in my body, in my brain. The brains are made of so fine tissues. Uh, what do we know? But Krishna is not like that. Krishna knows everything in detail. Annayat itaratascha arthesu avigya. Throughout the whole universe, throughout the whole creation, in any corner, in any place, whatever is going on, Krishna knows. That is the difference between Krishna and myself. I do not know even what is going on within my body. And still I am claiming I am God. How rascal! Just see, imagine. God's one opulence is that is full knowledge. This rascal God so-called God, you ask him, can you say what I am feeling now or what is my pain and pleasure? Can he say? And he still is claiming God. But Krishna says, Khetragya chapi mangavidhi sarva khetri subharata. I am in every, everybody. I am also within this body and Krishna is also within this body. Krishna, as you are within your body, similarly Krishna is also within your body. So myself, I am called Atma, and Krishna is called Paramatma. Therefore there are two words, Paramatma and Atma. (coughs) Atma is also individual. Paramatma is also individual. But because both of us, we are knower, Khetragya, Viva, 
the living entity is Khitraga, he has got knowledge. And Krishna says, Khitraga Chapi Mangvidhi. I am also knower. Both of them we are knower. We have got knowledge. Uh, my knowledge may be limited. Krishna's knowledge, unlimited, complete. But both of us, we are knower. We can understand. We can know. Therefore, we are called Khetragya. Uh, but the difference is, Krishna knows everything all over the creation. I even do not know what is going on in my body. That is the difference. So how one can become God? Rascal. How one can become God? That is not possible. God knows everything. If one knows everything, uh, then you can accept him as God. Otherwise, don't accept. As soon as if somebody says, I am God, kick him on his face. <laughs> yes. yes, you are God, I am God, I am the kicking God. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the answer. Uh, I am the shoe beater God. Now you protect yourself if you are God. Uh, don't accept this false God. Krishna, Krishna Su Bhagavan Sam. Uh, <clears throat> Krishna Su Bhagavan Sam, that is the verdict. All, just like Vasde, the giver of the Vedic knowledge, he says, Bhagavan Vacha, God says. So we have to follow that. Hmm. So Khetragam Chapi Mangavidhi Sarva Khetri Subhara. Don't do that. And this perception, khetra khetra gyan, gyan, uh, if we can understand what is khetra and what is khetra gyan. Uh, khetra means field of activities. Uh, there are field of activities in so many ways. Not only of this body, void, body, mind, intelligence, <coughs> they are all khetra. I am living entity, I am working with them. Uh, similarly, I am working outside also. Not within, not outside. I am running my care. That is also khetra. The world is khetra. Uh, the car is khetra. Uh, but the doer, the driver is khetra. Uh, that knowledge is lacking. Uh, a child may think that the aeroplane, big aeroplane, 447 is running. Uh, no, it is not running automatically. There is a pilot, Khetragya. He knows the machine, how to work on it. Everywhere you study, there is Khetra and Khetragya. Uh, the Krishna says, Khetra, Khetragya, Jnanam, one who knows how this khetra and khetragya is working, not only in individual body, in gigantic body and everything, there are two things, khetra and khetragya. If one knows this secret of knowledge, that means he is in perfect knowledge. Tad jnana, that is jnana. Not that a big professor says, uh, the, when after the finishing of this body, everything is finished. He is a rascal. He is identifying. Everyone is identifying, just like cats and dogs, with this body. Uh, the body is khetra. Uh, body is not the person. Uh, a, a, a child in ignorance may say that this uh, fine, nice motor car is running automatically. But it is not running automatically. There is a driver. He does not know it. Similarly, the whole universal activities is going on. Don't think it is going on automatically. No. That is foolish knowledge. The nature is working automatically. No. There is Khetraga, Krishna. Sarva Khetra is Everywhere is Krishna is working. In another place it is said, Mayadhakshena, he is not working like foolish man. He is working as the superintendent. Every details he is taking account. How you are doing? 
that is said in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya adhaksena. Krishna says, you do this. Immediately, nature will do that. Krishna says, you do this. Immediately. Not only nature, we are also doing under Krishna's direction. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, 15th chapter. Sarvasya chaham ridi sarnivishta. I am sitting in every man's heart. Here also the same thing. Sarva khetreshu. Not only I am sitting, but Krishna is also sitting. So Krishna is sanctioning. Krishna is giving permission. Then I am doing. I cannot alone do it. So Krishna is always ready to give you direction. He is there for direction. But unfortunately we do not obey Him. That is our material disease. If we obey Krishna, if we act according to Krishna, then there is no problem. Because Krishna cannot be mistaken. I am imperfect. I can be mistaken. But Krishna can be, cannot be mistaken. Therefore, if we act according to the direction of Krishna, then our life is successful. And to give you direction, Krishna is sitting within your heart, side by side. As I am sitting, you are sitting within this heart. Uh, the soul is within the heart. Therefore, when the soul goes away, these rascals say heart failure. Not heart failure. The soul has gone from the heart. Heart is also a mechanical thing, but the sitting place of the soul is there. Uh, so heart failure means the soul has gone from the heart. Sarvasachaha. Ridhi. Ridhi means heart. The location also being specified. Here is soul and super soul. Find out. If you have got uh, such scientific method, but they cannot find it out. Therefore, the rascal says there is no God, there is no soul, simply this lump of matter. That's all. So, anyone who thinks like that, he is described as uh, Gokhara. Gokhara means, go means cows, and khara means asses. Those who are identifying with this body as the self. This body is a bag of bones and flesh with urine and stool and blood and so many other things. But if you are a scientist at once, then I can supply you immense bones, immense blood, immense urine, immense stool. Manufacture one body. This is the position. So long you will be under the control of the... You are under the control. You cannot be independent. You rascal, don't think that ever you shall be independent. Your position is to remain dependent. If you don't depend on Krishna, then you have to depend on the material nature. That's all. You cannot become independent. That is not possible. So these people, these rascals, they are trying to become independent. Uh, they are therefore thinking. Uh, one of our students has written uh, Theomania. Uh, Theomania. Therefore, one is, because he cannot become independent, the artificially thinks, now let me become God, then I will become it. But artificial thinking, God will help you, no? Uh, if you artificially think that this bank, this big bank belongs to me. So you can think like that. But does the bank belong to you? Uh, so these Mahavadi philosophers are like, they meditate, I am God, I am God, I am moving the world, I am moving the universe. They say like that. But actually, does it do so? No. Uh, this is false thinking. Uh, real thinking is that I am also individual soul. Krishna is also individual, but he is super soul, uh, supreme. I am also person. He is also person, but he is supreme person. Uh, what is the difference between me and him? I am also person. He is. That's all right. But he is supreme person. That is explained in the Vedas. That ekaju bahunam vidhati kama. 
for providing myself, my body and soul together. Uh, I have to work so much. But uh, Krishna, He is providing millions and trillions of living entities without any endeavor. Uh, he is in Africa, there are millions of elephants. Krishna is supplying food. Yes. There are gorillas. Krishna is supplying food. Why you are anxious for a morsel of bread? Will not supply Krishna? He is perfect. He can supply a huge quantity of food to the elephant and a particular type of food to the gorillas. You know, we have read in a book that in Africa where the gorillas live, there are trees, the fruits of that tree are harder than the bullet. It is so hard. And the gorillas take those fruits and chews like peanuts. <laughs> yes, Krishna has given them. Krishna is living entity. He is also a living entity. He has got this body like a gorilla. So Krishna, ekajo bhunam vidhati kama. He supplies food for everyone. All the, not only food, all the necessities. Uh, every life, the necessity, what is our necessities? Uh, we require food, we require shelter, we require sex, we require defense. Krishna provides. Krishna provides. Even birds and beasts like. Uh, uh, in every birds and beasts, uh, there are so many children, both male and female. Uh, with the birth, they are supplied because there is no marriage. There is no seeking out, wake. But they, with the birth of a bird and beast, there is another, male and female. Uh, and so far food is concerned, everyone is getting. Shelter is concerned, everyone is getting. Uh, so food, shelter, sex, and defense. The defense, the birds and beasts, they have got their defense in me. Uh, even a small bird, even a small ant, he has got his defensive measures. Six legs. Uh, and the birds, they have got their nails. And the tiger has got jaws, or the cats, and everyone has got defense. You may have atom bomb, but it is defense. It is not intelligent. Four things are already supplied. You require uh, to keep your body fit. That is supplied by God, uh, by Krishna. He has given everyone. Then why you are bothering? You are human being, you have got so much nice brain, civilized. Why you are so much busy for these four things? If God has supplied these four things to the animals, beasts, birds, is he very miserly that he will not supply to the human being? No. There is four. You have got uh, your particular type of teeth, but eating fruits, flowers, grains. You haven't got canine teeth. Why you should eat meat? This is not your food. Uh, so in this way we have to acquire knowledge, not like blind men. And unfortunately uh, we prefer to become a servant of a blind leader instead of Krishna. This is our disease. We shall serve. I ask this question to Professor Kotarsky that your communist philosophy and our Krishna consciousness view, where is the difference? Uh, you have selected your leader and you have sold yourself to the orders of Lelit. And we have also uh, bowed down to Krishna and you have sold ourselves to Krishna. So on principle, where is the difference? There is no difference. You have to select one leader. We have also selected one. Now, if the leader is perfect, then my life is perfect. If the leader is wrong, then your life is wrong. So he could not answer this. Uh, the principle is there. You have to select one leader, and you have to act by his order. That is, that is our nature. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, 
জীবের স্বরূপ হয় নিত্য কৃষ্ণ দাস এভরি লিভিং এন্টিটি ইজ ইটার্নাল সার্ভেন্ট অফ কৃষ্ণ হোয়েন ই ফরগেস কৃষ্ণ হি বিকাম সার্ভেন্ট অফ মায়া দ্যাট ইজ আওয়ার পজিশন উই হ্যাভ টু সার্ভ দেয়ার ফর সেলফ রিয়ালাইজেশন মিন্স টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ওয়ান সেলফ দ্যাট আই এম ডিপেন্ডেন্ট অন কৃষ্ণ আই এম ইটার্নাল সার্ভেন্ট অফ কৃষ্ণ লেট মি এনগেজ মাই সেলফ টু দি সার্ভিস অফ দি ল দ্যাট ইজ পারফেকশন অফ দ্যাট থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ